Hello. The purpose of this video is to try to uh, train you all and, and explain to you how to deal with uh, putting speakers on a PA system that utilizes a 70 volt audio signal. We get a lot of questions about this and I thought I'd do a quick uh, short video to try to show you how to do that and kind of clear it up. I'm going to start by showing you first um, a typical small commercial amplifier. This is one that we actually sell. And by the way, our web address is electronicsworldwide.net. And you can buy these type of items there. This amplifier, I want to show you the back of it. And it does, of course, have the commercial type signal output of 70 volts. Some people ask, well, why don't they just use one type of signal like home audios with eight ohms coming out to the speakers. Well, when you buy a home audio system, it's all pre-designed and the impedance and all that mathematics is all, you know, figured out so you don't have to worry about it. But when you're designing a commercial public address system, then you, you don't know how many speakers you might be putting on the amp. And so what we found, or the electronics industry found, is if you use 70 volt signal, you, all of the mathematics is very simple. You don't have to worry a lot about um, overloading the amp as long as you use the 70 volt signal. So let me get started and show you. On the back of this amp, I'm going to try to get up here close and hopefully you can see this. This is the speaker output lines, okay? And if you'll notice it says COM, that means common. So one wire will always hook to this common lug, okay? And then you have here, in this case, you have 8 ohm, 70 volt, and 100 volt. In most cases, our speakers utilize 70-volt um, transformers, so you would tap the 70-volt line, okay? So you only got two conductors, again, this common and 70-volt, and these two conductors would go right on out to the first speaker. Another good news is with um, a 70-volt signal, you don't have to worry about coming back to the amplifier with the, every one of the, the speaker wires. You can just daisy chain right on old to all the speakers, and the last speaker in the line is the end of the line. You don't have to come back to the amp. That really does simplify the wiring process, as you can imagine. Um, okay, now, <clears throat> this is what's a little scary. When you buy indoor uh, commercial speakers for, like, say, a ceiling, um, when you see all of the wires on the back of it, when you receive this in the mail, I mean, in, in the shipment, it looks pretty, <laughs> pretty. you see these everywhere, but boy, look at the back. Let's get a close-up shot. And when you see all these wires, you know, of course, we get, you know, questions and emails and phone calls, and my gosh, what are all these wires? That's what I want to try to explain today. It's really very simple when I explain it to you. This is the transformer called a 70-volt transformer, and there's a diagram right on top of it that tells you which wire to hook to for what wattage and so forth. What I've done is uh, made a chart. This is a blow-up of that chart that's on the transformer. Hopefully you can see this. Now, that transformer will utilize either 70 volt or 25 volt amplifier. In most all cases, our amplifiers are 70 volt. So you can just discount this line. You don't even use this line at all. And that simplifies it right there. So we're only dealing with the center column of this chart, okay? Now, in all cases, you've got two conductors coming into the transformer. One conductor is going to always hook to the common or the black, you see. So that really simplifies. So just remember, one wire coming from the amplifier will hook to the black on the transformer. Then you just got one more to decide. In most cases, what we do is when we first wire a big commercial system in a building, we'll just tap um, black and yellow. The yellow is the highest wattage in this case, which is 10 watts. And so every room would have pretty much a consistent volume. Let's say that you walk into a room and it's just a little too loud. You want to quiet that room down, then you could go up to the speaker and pull the wire off of the yellow coming from the amplifier and move down to uh, purple, for instance. And that would make that speaker a lot quieter. Okay? So again, you're really just dealing with two wires and one of them always hooks to black. So 
in most cases, if you just hook, in this case, if you just hook to black and yellow with every wire, that's all you have to worry about. You can just take the rest of them and kind of coil them up. You might take uh, wire cutters and cut them off so that they won't short. And um, put maybe some electrical tape on them. And forget about the others. Let me show you again. On the speaker here, we would take and... Uh, you got to really watch because purple and black are pretty hard to distinguish on this transformer. Um, this is, let's see, this is purple down here. So you have to watch for that. Don't hook to the purple. Push him off to the side. This is the black one. You would hook to black and you would hook to yellow and just take the rest and just simply ignore them. It's that simple, okay? You could, again, you could cut them off and maybe put some black tape on them. All right, so let's say that the wire coming from the amplifier is here, okay? You only got two conductors. This comes right off the amp. Simply hook, gosh, it's hard to do. Let's take black, hope you can see this. Black and um, twist it under one of the wires and yellow and twist it on the other wire. Now, what about the next speaker in the line? Then let's pretend that this is the wire going to the next speaker. Take these two conductors and twist them right under the same two, black and yellow, like this. You put a wire nut on it. <clears throat> and then you have black on this side. I'm not sure I'm in the camera view. I hope I am. Why not that? And so what you end up with is this. And again, we just ignore all these others. You just chop them off and tape them up. And this is what you would end up with, okay? One wire going out to the next speaker. This wire here comes from the amplifier. And then, of course, the black and yellow to this speaker taps into that line, okay? We call it a railroad track. You just tap it in the railroad track and go right to the next speaker. It's that simple. And you do not have to come back to the amplifier. Just uh, the last speaker in the line is the end of the line, okay? I hope this has been helpful. If you have questions, please, you can email me at info, info at electronicsworldwide.net. And again, our web address is electronicsworldwide.net. I hope this was helpful, and, uh, and thank you a lot for watching. See you soon.